What's up, everybody? You listen to the J Red Show on YouTube. Um, the NFL preseason is over, and in two weeks we'll begin the regular season. Got to talk about my favorite team, the Buffalo Bills. Um, this is going to be a retool, a retool year as they lost a lot of pieces on defense, especially on offense too, but especially the defense. Leonard Floyd, um, Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde. Jordan Phillips, the elite players that made the Buffalo Bills defense so great is gone. But despite these losses, I still think the Bills will still have a top 10 defense. And I did pick the Buffalo Bills defense to be on my fantasy team. I mean, they still have Sean McDermott, a great defensive-minded coach. And despite all the injuries, they the Buffalo last year, the Buffalo Bills still managed to maintain a top ten defense, and they still got some talent. Greg Rousseau looks real good. I'm really excited to see him. But I mean, how, how will they do this year? Um, let's find out. I'll get my predictions, and we'll see if they come true. And now it is time to pick the Bills. And how started week one against the Arizona Cardinals. Um, on paper, Arizona is a pushover. They were, they, I mean, on, on, if you look at those red loss record last year and think, yeah, it's Arizona. It should be an easy win. But they do have some nice pieces. I like their pick of Marvin Harrison Jr. Um, they have some nice pieces on the wide receiver, DJ Jones, Zay. DJ Dallas, Zay Jones. But I still think this is going to be a victory for the Buffalo Bills. And I think that I'm going to go with wins. They'll start 1 0. Up next is Thursday Night Football against the Miami Dolphins. They got three straight night games. Miami's a good team, but they I still think Miami's going to be a good team. They, they they have some nice um they still have Tua, they still have Hill, they still have Waddle, they still have Mike McDaniel. And so this is gonna be another date close game. But they just like the Bills, they they too lost a lot of key pieces this offseason. And Buffalo's had their number in the last couple of years. So I think but I'm gonna be optimistic and say Buffalo starts two and oh. Up next is a 7.30 game against Jacksonville. Um, this is... I'm going to lean towards a loss. Like last year, we at least wanted to travel to London, where the Bills are completely jet lag. But the Jaguars have had the Buffalo Bills number the last couple of years, so I'm going to go with a loss. Up next is another Sunday night football game against Baltimore. Um... Good luck shutting down Derrick Henry with the new rules the the um, NFL has put in. The NFL has banned the hip tackle. So good luck shutting down Derrick Henry. Loss. And I think they're going to be 2-2. Two and two. I mean, this, begin, this first half, this schedule is going to be brutal. And the Bills are going to... And it doesn't get any easier. They, they go against C.J. Stroud in Houston. Dang, I, I don't know. I think the Bills are just too good to lose four in a row, and I think they'll win this game. But I do like C.J. I think C.J. Stroud's legit. He's gonna get the bill. It's. I think he's gonna be up there with Allen and Mahomes, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Plus, you added the new pieces. They added Tank Dell. Stephon Diggs. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to, say, I'm going to change it to a loss. And then up next is the Jets. Really depends on how healthy Aaron Rodgers is. I'm going to go with a loss. Two and four. I mean, I hate to be pessimistic, but maybe you can get the Jets to a win. I mean, we don't. They, they, there's, a, there's a lot of problems with the Jets, but they have a great defense. They have Aaron Rodgers, so they're at two and four. 
Now I think the but I don't think they'll get a win streak going. Um, up next is Tennessee. Um, it's um, Tennessee's like Arizona. They have some on paper they didn't look weak, but they have some nice pieces. They just add DeAndre Hopkins, and they have Tony Pollard. But I still think the Bills will win this game. Up next, they're at Seattle. Um, last year, they were 9-8. So I think they're an average football team. I think Buffalo will get the win. And that's the thing. I think Buffalo will struggle out of the gate. But um, I think but, but I think they will eventually get better as the season progresses. So I'd rather be in Seattle. Up next, Miami. I think that they'll beat Miami. Indianapolis, um, I think that's going to be uh, a win. Although I do like Anthony Richardson. Um, maybe that could be a, a toss-up, maybe a loss, but I'm going to go with a win. Kansas City, I think that's going to be a win. I think the Bills will continue their tradition. Uh, their, um, beat Kansas City the regular season, lose them in the playoffs. Up next, San Francisco, I think it's going to be a loss. I mean, they are the defending NFC champion. I mean, up next is the Rams. I think that's a win. Detroit's a good team. I think it's going to be a loss. And then I think New England, they should win, although we don't know how good Jake Bay is. Jets, I mean, I can see them split the Jets. I'm going to go with a win, and then finally at New England, a win. So there you have it. I have them at 12 and 5. Um,. Do you think that'll be good enough to win the division? Yeah, I think it will. Although it's gonna be really close to the Jets in Miami. So, what are your thoughts? Hit me on Twitter at JRedShow, and I'll see you later.